right, so this amazing looking uh, game website uh, apparently is live. Uh, so, you know, I have no idea. It's been a, it's been a very long time since I've really done any like NFT play to earn type of games. Um, simply because I just don't have time to really, you know, just manage all that. You know, so I mean, I did my thing with Dino Pets or Bino Pet and Bino Mon and all that, but you know, I, I just prefer money making money. So, you know, so right off the bat, this well, this came from Yana Crypto's YouTube. So right off the bat, this looks really good, very well done. It definitely screams credibility. So I can't imagine this being a scam. I mean, if it's a scam, I mean, just take my money. I mean, shit, you got me. <laughs> you got me. All right, so the game is supposedly live, so here's play. That looks pretty cool. Click to fly to Nika. I guess that's the name of their world. Welcome to your first time. Well, before we actually click this, let me just look at their front page. I can also purchase this token. Okay, uh, I understand. Import. So let me see. I don't want to link to the buy link. I want to show the chart. Okay, I assume this is on Binance Smart Chain. Oh, duh, because it's on PancakeSwap. Okay. What the hell? Okay, so... Invert pair. Okay, this doesn't look correct. Output currency because I did the wrong one. Okay. Because output currency is the first thing here, not the... Okay, so that's why I was getting problems. Okay. All right, now it should be correct. This is $5.22. It looks like it's doing pretty well, which it should, because if it's a legitimate play-to-earn project, it should uh, go to real... Okay, well, I guess that's, uh, that's, the, that's the chart. Okay. All right, so... Uh, I mean, I mean, we did have some pretty crazy turbulence this month too. So yeah, so even even uh, play to earn projects are not immune, which shouldn't surprise you or me, are not immune to you know bigger, broader market forces. Right? New York Supreme Court strikes down gun law restricting concealed carry. That's actually your pretty huge. I actually need to tweet that. It actually affects me directly. Breaking news, SCOTUS strikes down New York City's unconstitutional concealed carry law. I guess everyone is going to have guns now. Hmm. I, mean, I should buy some. Believe it or not, I have mixed feelings about it because here in New York City, it's very crowded. So a good guy, quote unquote, with a gun, he shoots the bad guy. You're gonna hit bystanders very easily because bullets go through things and people. So what if I'm standing behind the bad guy? He gets shot. I'll get shot too. So and then I might and then if I have a gun, I might think, oh, he's trying to kill me. So I might shoot him and then you know, I don't know, man. I I it's it's gonna be uh, there's gonna be a lot of chaos. So, but I mean, this is a very liberal city, so I'm pretty sure they're just going to, like, pass other laws and make it so that you can go to jail, you'll get sued, we'll take all your money kind of thing. So, I don't know. But I mean, I'm in the middle of doing this video, so I'll just read this in a second. Find out what's actually uh, in that bill. So, anyway. God, now my throat's dying here. This is what happens when you get older. Your body just starts breaking down. All right. So first things first, I want to look at their. Uh, that's actually pretty cool. Hunt dangerous monsters. I have to admit, these graphics are like effing insane. Do they really hire actors and actresses for this trailer, or they're just ripping off movie uh, things? Check this box to calculate your earnings and ROI. Acknowledge, yeah, it's not financial advice. Okay. Uh, okay. So that's how uh, you plan to invest. Okay. Well, it's defaulted to two grand, so I'll leave it at that. 
Your, our Omni balance work will often be found around the usual levels. Okay, so high incentives, low incentives. Wow, when you click the low incentives, yeah, you can see this. Yeah, there's like a very different thing. Uh, well, I'm good at video games, so I'm going to be expert. But you can also be bad at this game, beginner, and it doesn't really change your earnings that much. So it seems like the thing that matters is this, because this has a dramatically... I don't know what this uh, incentive thing is. And then, of course, you can reinvest your money. Okay, so this also means a lot, too. Okay. Yeah. This just looks awesome. I mean, I can't really say any bad things, and I don't think I can say it's a rug pull because, I mean, they've been live since June 7th. Yeah, you can see that. Today's June 23rd. They're still here. So... Uh, you will need to deposit at least $100 worth of BOSLT, so that's actually good. A little bit of BNB and a few dollars in Binance dollars. Do you need some help getting started? You know what? I'm an expert. All right, so this is pretty cool. I mean, if I wasn't if I wasn't actually like tied up with like a bunch of like a million other things to do, I would actually play this game. This for my, I mean, I, I like playing casual games. Now this is like something like this is perfect for someone like me. All right, so Nadodo is watching. You got a tax of fifteen percent, and then here's various other types of taxes. I don't want to go through all of them. Legion damage per hunt. Summoning fee is sixteen dollars. So that's how this game makes money. Oh man, you have to spend a lot of money to play this game. Oh, okay, well maybe I wouldn't play this game. Then. Um, like this is like, what is it? Uh, pay to win. Yeah, yeah, this game definitely seems very pay to win. So a lot of people like that. Um, in this case, this seems more like forced pay to win because I was kind of hoping you just buy one time and then that's it. Uh, but I mean, if these are, if these actions, yeah, because you have to do a so-called hunt, and they charge you every time you use up hunts, so eventually this, like, you have to keep putting money into this. Read instructions in the white paper, when a hunt, blah, blah, blah. So, here's my inventory of, I guess, warriors and monsters and creatures. Okay, and then blah, blah, blah. All right, summon warriors, summon beast, create a legion, hunt, market, uh, okay, dex tools chart, buy BSLT. You can always restart the tour by clicking here. Yeah, I think I'll cancel. Okay, so the first thing I want to see is, okay, so people, so you can get some warriors, right, hobbits and gnomes, <laughs> right, and then sell on the marketplace. All right, 55 BSL, BLST. So this actually is in the, this is actually pretty cheap because one BSLT is like 22 cents. So 10 times the amount is two dollars and cents times five. You're looking at about eleven dollars. So yeah, so this actually isn't that bad. And of course, you want to buy like the cheapest. Character with the most, you know, I guess action points, that's what it's called. We got some beasts here. Uh, there's actually not a lot for sale for some reason. Okay. We have Legion, Legions. Oh, okay. So this is how, oh, so maybe this is how you can try to, like, game the system, right? What you do is you combine a bunch of, like, dudes, put them in a group, which I guess they call Legions, right? And, and then try to, like, you know, Flip or arbitrage the market. Yeah, I'm, I'm too old to be doing that. Okay, you need to create a legion to start hunting. Min AP, base 85, 82, 85% to win. Okay. Ah, oh, interesting. Ah. And this is a hunt. So the idea is to get a very high AP score, right? Attack points or whatever it stands for. Get the win, and then if you win, you get, you know, your money back. But it's not 100%. So, okay. So, hmm. I kind of wonder, if you have more AP than is required, I wonder if you get some sort of bonus for uh, win chance. Because it would suck to hunt, and then you lose. Then you lose your hunts, right? And then you just keep losing more and more money. OK. 
k and then you can win some extra money i wonder if these numbers change in real time it says 29.05 bslt let me refresh the page okay so this is kind of interesting so this is really more of like a pve type of game right usually play to earn games have some form of pvp right because that's much more sustainable so okay uh, 52% chance to win a lot of money here, but you would need 31,000 AP. Okay, so I can kind of see how this game can sustain itself. It kind of works. It's got some pretty insane looking, uh, you know, graphics, right? This is really well done. Wow. Number 24. <laughs> yeah, can you imagine having 500,000 AP, right? You would win almost 2,300 bucks, but you have a 35% chance to win this. I mean, I mean, I guess at some point, like, when you, where was the market? No, this is stuff. Where is the market to buy hunts and all that stuff? Oh, man. It's not hunt. It's not le legions. It's not warriors. Where was the original page? And you get bloodstones, too. Uh, oh, okay. I have to click the button up here. Supply fees for 14 hunts. Yeah, you can see that. Let me actually zoom out a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I guess if you're paying $24 for 28 hunts, I mean, you may not care if, you know, you're hunting, like, something big like this, you know? I mean, look, even this isn't too bad looking. 17,000 AP. 68% chance to win $60.50. Uh, Here's the thing. When you buy hunts... Oh, my God. This thing is just so annoying to navigate. I actually would like to see. Where can I buy a hunt? Because I'm kind of curious. Are they charging you in Binance dollars or are they charging you in tokens? And there's a hunt tax of 2.5%. You know, if this, I assume these developers are smart. So I'm actually thinking that these dollar values, summoning fees, supply fees, these are actually Binance dollars. Because it did say in that little pop-up at the beginning of the video, when I clicked here, you're going to want some Binance dollars. That would actually be smart because right now one Binance dollar can, can buy you like five of these tokens. Like a little, a little less than five of those tokens. So this actually helps keep the uh, project very sustainable. Right? And of course, I assume the devs are paying themselves through these taxes, right? So, you know, yeah, one USD equals four point. Oh, it tells you right here, one USD equals four point forty-seven the uh, BLST. Okay. So this is pretty cool. So this is purely PVE, so that's kind of cool. So they can actually just tailor make their, well, there's not even a graphics for, oh, that's because the guy's invisible. I thought the invisible guy was this dragon up here, but it's actually this one, the Volcano Drano. Volcano, Volcano Dragon, not Drano, like the cleaning liquid. So that's actually kind of cool. I mean, you win 15 grand, but geez, I mean, who has 500,000 AP? And there's only a 15% chance to win. So this is like a very fancy casino. I don't want to say casino, but because at first it's like a casino. But all you have to do is just reach a point where your win amount, right, for your AP score, you know, can start generating more than enough money to pay for... Um, to go back to the home page to pay for all of your hunts and you're obviously going to be buying the $24 version right because it's two dollars cheaper than buying two of the 14 hunts uh, things so that's how you actually make money so this is actually a kind of cool game and apparently there's no timers too so as long as you got money you could just keep playing and playing and playing and playing and then you take all your BLST and then just dump it on the market to you know get your money back so that's actually kind of interesting. So there is a point. So there is a point where you should be able to make a profit pretty easily, and then of course you could start off with like the really easy stuff, right? Just so you can, you know, get get started. So I don't know why you would want to buy a beast, and there's not really a lot for sale anyway. 
but I will look at this. Okay, so obviously we want the highest AP. So I did that and uh, didn't like that. All right, so 13.15. So, man, you would have to do so much math and then like divide the BLST, BLST by the AP and then figure out how much AP you're getting per BLST. So obviously you want something uh, close to one to one ratio, which doesn't seem possible, right? Okay. So that's actually kind of hard. And then there's the bloodstones up here, I think. Like there are the, like these indicators. So I assume these indicators allow you to upgrade your heroes. Show only my warriors, okay. Summon the beast, current beast. Yeah, I don't know what these beasts do. Actually, I'm already kind of long too. It's like 16 minutes. So where's their white paper? Where did I read the white paper about the beasts? In fact, am I actually just? Uh, oh jeez. Um, uh, your legions will be okay. So there is a limit of something. Your legions will be able to hunt monsters once every 24 hours. So you have to have multiple legions, and if they are successful, they will earn bloodstones. The stronger the monster is, that is that your legion hunts. Okay, so the stronger the monster you hunt. The harder it will be to defeat only the stronger you can attempt to take down the most However, successful blessing rewards will be enormous. Each time you hunt, whether you win or lose, you usually pay a 2.5% tax on the potential winnings. So even if you lose, you pay a tax. For that hunt in Binance dollars, which goes into the liquidity pool. The hunting tax may be adjusted slightly based on the Omni Balance Oracle, TM. Yeah, everything's TM. By using the mass hunt button, you can let your ability to hunt at the same time with the highest reachable monster for each legion. The function has exactly the same result as if you were hunt individually one by one. So that saves you time and that just saves you time, which is fine. Hunting these dangerous monsters is not easy. Winning or losing will result in your legion sustaining permanent damage, which is explained in the next section. Okay, each hunt will reduce the total attack power, so AP stands for attack power by 2% usually. So even if, so every time you hunt, you lose 2%. Wow. Uh, geez. This is gonna, this, I don't want this video to get too long. The more hunts done by your legion over time, the weaker they will become until they reach zero. Once the legion's attack power is below 2k, then you can mark it as hide weak legions. The only way to replenish your legions will be by adding more warriors and beasts. So that beasts do add to the attack power. However, keep in mind they can only add more warriors and beasts until you reach 10 beasts per legion and taking into account the maximum number of warriors that each beast can support. Yeah, there wasn't a lot of beasts for sale. If you don't hunt with your legion, then its total attack power will not be reduced. You can also sell these worthless... Uh, what do what are they call in Game of Thrones? I forgot. When you were weak... And then they just treat you like crap. Like there was a word like like you were strong, now you're weak, and then they called you a term for that. I know it mean I know it was sitting up for being a weak person, but uh, I what is that word? Ah, uh, it perfectly describes exactly what this is. Okay, so there doesn't seem to be any way to increase the attack power at all. You use it, and that's that. Okay, okay, so. The hunts are paid for in bloodstones. Oh, bloodstone is BLST. Right, got it. Legions consisting of warriors and beasts need hunting supplies. Uh, for your MetaMask, blah, 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 one USD per hunt for each war. I'm telling you a big benefit of your you buy supplies for more hunts at once. Okay, so if you have three warriors, you're paying three dollars worth of hunts. Three hunts. Wow, this game is really expensive to play. Okay, so everything's subject to change, price-wise. Uh, okay, you have to pay the equivalent of supplies needed while for the remaining hunts of the elite, and also for the training fee, 50 cents for each added war or beast. There are no discount for supplies for 14 or 28 days when updating a legion. Remember that a legion can have a max of 10 beasts. 
and you add enough beasts to have sufficient capacity for your warriors you plan to add, right? So you need both beasts, like horses, and warriors. Man, this game just seems very expensive. You have the Legion with five remaining hunting supply, you add a new warrior, then you will need to pay 50 cents, plus another five dollars for supplies for five hunts and bloodstone, add your warrior legion. Oh, man. Uh, hunt and kill. Really fair and safe. Larry should rush to clear the R off here. Getting on the road. That's why we have our only match Oracle. Make sure our expenses are well balanced. Uh, we train. This will prefer. Okay. So they use their little automatic balancing to prevent people from uh, claiming all the rewards, then dumping everything on the market. Or they maintain. I mean, I. Uh, I mean, I guess it's better than nothing. Uh, uh, each warrior can be converted to blood at any time for the equivalent USD. I managed to be aware early claims will be taxed as described in the early claim tax session, so I'm not going to bother reading. I want to keep this video short. When you successfully hunt a monster 20, you win 49 USD. Let's assume in this example at the time it's equal to 400 bloodstone. If you keep a reward for monster 20 and your unclaimed reward is 15 days, the bloodstone currency halves in value compared to USD. You will still withdraw 490, which will be equal to 80. Okay. So your rewards are paid out in actual dollars and stored as dollars, and then when you would act with actually withdraw it, it'll just buy the, it'll just give you the equivalent in bloodstone. So it's actually better to just simply hold it in dollars. Okay. You know, I'm just gonna link to just this page, right? And they can look at the hunting section because that's really the only thing that matters. Uh, okay, so overall, it looks very good, very legit project. Um, it's just a little very expensive. So, um, yeah, and then you have to constantly keep pumping money into this because your warriors keep getting weaker every time you attack. So that's actually how this game sustains itself. Um, I don't know. Would I actually play something like that? Believe it or not, I mean, it's probably not for me. I prefer to have it buy something once and then just play it forever until I don't want to play anymore. I prefer those kinds of games. Well, that being said, I mean, there's nothing wrong with how Crypto Legions is doing it. It's opposite. <laughs> Mass execute. Um, there's nothing wrong with how they're doing it, but it's just very pay-to-win. But pay-to-win games make a lot of money. So it's I, I definitely avoid those type of games. It's just too much for me. But with that being said, it's a very proven system. It makes a lot of money, so... You know, if these guys do it right, I mean, this project will be around for a long time. And if you're crazy enough to do play, uh, hardcore pay-to-win, not play-to-win, pay-to-win, if you're hardcore pay-to-win and you're good at it, uh, yeah, you could probably do pretty all right with this, all right? I mean, just bear in mind, uh, you know, the overall market, the, oh my god, these scumbags at the Federal Reserve, man, look, look at this, just look at this. <sighs> the inflation's going to be so nasty. Yeah, even despite that, the stock markets are not really going up that much. All right, fine. I mean, we'll pay for it in the extreme, uh, extreme hyperinflation. Yeah, the cryptocurrency markets are barely budging too. All right, well, I still remain short the market. All right, you know, this is a pretty good thumbnail. So I'm definitely done for the day. You know, if I actually start doing more market videos, I'm definitely going to reduce the amount of cryptocurrency projects I cover. So I'm still trying to decide how I want to, you know play this. So it's already 11 o'clock. I'm hungry. I already exercised, so I kind of need to make some food. This was obviously a very long video, longer than I'd like, but that's because we have to go through, through all of these uh, stacks. But yeah, looks good. Looks good. So anyway, check out Crypto Legions. Like, subscribe, share this video around. Thank you again to all the uh, old and new people watching this video. Uh, I'm definitely done for the day, so I don't know. I'm going to let you all go because I want to let myself go. So um, I don't know when I'll see you next, so maybe tomorrow, all right, if I want to do another, like, quick market video and then just call it, uh, but, you know, well, we'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll take a look at how, uh, throughout the day, but probably, especially tonight and tomorrow morning, how my stock market video, similar to, like, what Greg Van Reno does, I'll see how that video does, and then based on those metrics, you know, I'll, maybe I'll do another video tomorrow. If not, I'll just see you whenever, so... So yeah, I mean, I should do another video uh, tomorrow on the stock markets, just so I can keep some content on the on the channel. And I do want to expand out of cryptocurrency stuff too. 
Right? I'm not going to abandon crypto, of course not. But you know, we kind of, we kind of need some, kind of really need some uh, some content here. All right, so I got to catch up. I got to find out because this actually affects me directly because obviously I live in this piece of shit city. So yeah, yeah, we'll see how it goes. All right, uh, see you maybe tomorrow.